Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live still from St. Louis, Missouri. We are here in St. Louis enjoying the Trans World festivities, Trans World, the haunted house convention that occurs annually here in St. Louis. And we're about to attend what has become somewhat of a tradition on this channel uh, for the Trans World uh, guests. They have a special event here at the City Museum here in St. Louis. The City Museum is not your average museum. The name makes it sound like it is your average museum, but the uh, City Museum is a, a, a like, almost like an interactive folk art environment, some a place that you that, that, that you can get lost through tunnels and strange formations. And uh, yeah, I love hanging out here, love seeing what they do new, what they've added, what they've taken away. So tonight, we're gonna enjoy the Trans World festivities here inside the City Museum. So please, follow me. So we've arrived here a few minutes before they're opening the event. You can see the uh, the haunters lining up, ready to get into the museum, yelling YouTube at me. If you look up there, you can see there's a school bus hanging off the edge of the building. I don't know if we're gonna get a chance to check out the roof. I think the roof may be closed this evening. Over here, we can see they have a jet plane that you can get up and climb around inside. Oh boy, there are a lot of people here. Although it looks like they're starting to uh, let people inside. You see, there's, like there's a child right there diving, in a stage dive into the pile of people. All right, I think I've reached mass capacity with wristbands. You can see people diving in, crawling up in the tubes. Human beings crawling in the tubes. How you, ha you having a good time in that tube right there? <laughs> oh my goodness. People actually have the right idea though. You kind of just dive in. There's no real flow or direction to where you go. You just kind of head into some sort of pathway and you end up somewhere else. Oh wow. I don't remember that pterodactyl right there. <laughs> hey there pterodactyl. You can see the big whale there. Oh there's someone crawling out from underneath the whale. See there's all these different, all these different pathways. You can actually see, oh, look at this. The whale is giving birth to a human being. <laughs> see up here, the tail, there's all these interconnected fish creatures. See that fish is biting on to a seal. Look in here. See all the different fish faces. There's some sort of squid-like structure over there. See the different wood-like structures over here. Some sort of like walkway through this old log right here. See lots of little narrow pathways. I don't even know what would happen if I tried to go in there. Some very dark caverns here. Fortunately, I did bring a flashlight so we can explore. So let's, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> you can see there's actually cave paintings in here. I don't think you'd even be able to see those if I wasn't using this flashlight. Oh yeah, we are officially spelunking in here. Okay. What's in there? I don't even understand. Is like a spider web? Some sort of creature lurking behind the glass? It's a lion of some sort. I'm back in the cavern, let's blast some light on the subject. Oh, they have weird colors here. And look at that dragon. Oh, it's like an insect mouth. These pathways are small. I don't know if I can fit in them. I, I need, to, need to go on a massive diet just so I can come back and do a full exploration of the city museum. Seems like people are continually going up this spiral right here up to the upper floors. Should head up the grand staircase here. You can see the insanity, the spirals, 
the tubes, the human hamster tunnels that people can climb in. Oh, look at this, you got a little miniature whale there. You can see people crawling up through all the tunnels, through the ceiling. You can see these spitting gargoyles there. If you look down, they're spitting into a pond full of actual koi there. Let's head into this area here. Definitely see some new stuff here in the aquatic section. You can see right there, there's an axolotl swimming by. Hey there, little axolotl. Very cool animal. Look over here. Oh, there's different fish tanks. This one's being guarded by this giant octopus. What's inside the octopus's mouth here? It's another tunnel. Oh, look at this stingray. The giant hermit crab, which we can actually, can we go inside of his shell? Well, we can, you can actually go up. There's a tunnel that leads somewhere. I don't think it's a tunnel for someone my size, but a tunnel nonetheless. Okay, I just put everything together here. So, you crawl inside the hermit crab, you scuttle along there, and then you go sliding down this hammerhead shark. See if there's fish down in here. Oh, there's a big fish. Look at you, you're a big old fish. What are you doing? Just swimming around, being a fish? Where are you going? Oh, that's a big, beautiful fish. Got a sand castle here, and another big old octopus. It looks like they're still doing some construction over here. That's a hippopotamus that's coming out of the floor. And then this creepy dangling monkey. That big old tank here, almost the size of a swimming pool. See the hippo, the moray eel wrapped around that pole. Okay, it looks like at some point there's gonna be a slide going through the water over there. You can see the waterfall actually goes into this tank full of catfish there. It's a little fishy. Take these uh, spiral steps up and see where they land us. This will take us out of this fish area. But where are we now? Oh, in the giant, the giant pencil right here. These chairs here do not look all that comfortable. I don't know, they seem, these people seem pretty relaxed, so maybe I should give it a, a try. It's just slowly, oh my gosh. Back in the chair. Whoa. Oh my God. People scurrying up this hallway here. Oh, what's? Is there a person in there? That was awesome. Is there more people coming? I'm not sure what this is. Almost like a like going through a car wash or something. Oh.
sort of castle-like structure in here. Slides and this weird lion face. All right, let's do this slide thing. Oh, we got some really low ceilings up here. Let's make my way through. This place is nuts. Don't hit your head. ball pit up here people throwing balls at each other inside of a cage oh gosh it's getting out of, it's getting out of hand rapidly big old dinosaur over here to slide out of its mouth City Museum used to pride themselves on not having any maps, but that era is over. Because up here, actually we're on the third floor, so you do have to venture through the museum to get to the map. But here it is, laid out. The City Museum. We're over here in Toddler Town. There's the Skateless Park. And uh, see the other floors here, the Enchanted Caves. Spent some time in the aquarium area. You can see that classic whale right there. So yeah, here is Skaterless Park. You don't have skateboards, but you have basically a skate park where you just have to run on your feet like some sort of hamster. A big circle here, up on the walls. I was, I was afraid I was gonna fall. Okay, so I guess I gotta run around this circle. And just not stop running. If you stop running, then you fall down, and that's bad. This is concrete, so here we go. How'd I do? How'd it look? job yeah. oh thank you thank you so much appreciate it awesome thank you <laughs> feel the screens oh I love feel the screens a little happy narwhal and he's fighting a kraken. It's pretty crazy. Some people up here in this giant web right here. It says enter the web slash net at the spider. Oh, there's the spider over there. That's where we got to head in. All right, you see the fly there from the spider. That's where we uh, head up, walking up the spider's face. It's getting narrow. It's getting very narrow here. I don't know if we can actually fit in the net. Let me in. Let me into the web. The web of lies. Let me in. Oh. I 
made it in. Uh, oh no! All right, I guess we can set foot on the web. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. Actually walking on the web. This is pretty. This is pretty fun. Not nothing. Nothing but net. All right, now we gotta try to get out of the web of lies here. There's the exit. Why does the exit look smaller than the entrance? Let's see if I can. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, my pants. My pants are hooked. You can see people in the net above me. Actually, a part of this museum that's like a museum. We step in here. A bunch of tiny insects all pinned to the board there. Oh, look how tiny some of those are. There's a stalagmite, but it's not attached to anything. So, how do they know it's not a stalactite? Is a stalagmite or a stalactite, does it cease becoming one or the other once it's removed from a cave? Or does it remain what it was? while it was still attached in the cave. Notice that crab's claws are drastically uneven. One of them is much bigger. The cabinet of taxidermy there. See the penguin and this little weasel in there, a raccoon. Oh, I'm, all, I'm all worn out and uh, taxidermy helps me relax. So here we go, there's a bobcat, turkey. Oh, there's a little fox. Chaos reigns, little buddy. A mountain lion over this door here. Oh look, it's a dance party of some sort in here. Looks like haunters can't dance. There's a little gift shop here, mid museum. It's definitely something I should have invested in before tonight. Knee pads. All right, madness still going on in the rafters here at the city museum. I've been getting very warm in here. Let's step outside into this beautiful evening. Oh my gosh. Slide down the slide. There we go. Wee See these old trams here being used as a rest area. See people making their way through these tunnels here. <laughs> Suspended in midair. It's pretty uh, pretty nerve wracking to be honest. See people crawling from that rocket onto the wing of the plane. I bet you guys think I should go up there. Ah, uh, should I? Should I go up to the plane? All right, I'll go up there. Oh, man, look at this, look at those people. Just climbing right up. All right, I guess if I go up this spiral staircase, it'll take me up there by the plane. Some people coming down right now. Let them clear the way first. All right, going up. The spiraling staircase. And there's the plane. See people walking on the wing, people crawling up this uh, wire, this wire tube into the plane. Yeah, this is a this is a plane too, I guess, the shell of a plane. But you go into the cockpit there, and then you crawl up this wire into this other plane right here. Actually, it looks like there is a shortcut. I think you can go up this spiral staircase and get into the plane that way. Look how many people are in that tube. There is just a backlog of people jammed in that tube, they can't move, they are stuck. Some people are probably getting frightened being in a tube. The certain percentage of the population that does not enjoy being in a tube. All right, we're gonna head up this staircase here to get to the top of the plane. Get another view of the tube there from on top of the plane. Yeah, those There's too many people in that tube. There's too many people, and there's people still pouring into the tube. People love the tube, I guess. From here you can see the uh, 
school bus dangling from the corner of the building. Unfortunately, the roof's not open tonight. Otherwise, you could actually get in that school bus and sit in the driver's seat. Shake it. All right, let's check out the cockpit of the plane here. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Look at all those plane innards there. This, this was probably flying through the sky at one point. Or maybe not, but probably. Someone's messing with the controls and it's actually yes, moving, yes, it's amazing. moving the innards here. Yeah! Look. Oh, Look there down. we go. You can actually move the... Captain, are we gonna land? Oh, there you go. See the, the water. actual controls of the plane still work All for right. some reason. All right, okay. So we're gonna land in the Hudson. Roger that, sir. Oh look, the back light of the plane is still flashing. As much as I'd love to go through that too, I think we are just gonna head back down the way we came. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry! It's okay. So back down this horrific spiral staircase. Everything is scary. Everything is scary. Oh, I can see people coming out of this tube here. Being birthed from this tube. Oh, I think we can cut across this bridge right here. See, I made this mistake before. People climb up to the plane, then they go through the terrifying <laughs> tube through the air there, and then once they get there, there's like a slide tube, but you can't get any traction because it's made of wire. It's definitely not a slide. It's not a slide. We have it's a scary. This, the official word that is not a slide is <laughs> only shaped like one. Yeah. I remember getting really nervous just waiting up there stuck in a tube with a bunch of other people. Yeah, you can see someone slowly trying to slide down the non-slide there. So a bunch of people hanging out there on the rampart of that castle over there. All right, where's this gonna take me? If I go in this direction. Okay, I think that dragon is a slide. We can slide down through the dragon's mouth. All right, this here is the super scary slide. It's there. Oh, yeah, that's scary. You can see the fire truck right here. Oh man, do I gotta go down this slide to get out of here? Oh my goodness. I made the uh, decision I'm not going down that slide because I'm allowed to make decisions on what direction my body goes sliding in. Back inside here, let's, let's peek inside the belly of the whale. I love this big whale. Go inside the... Oh my gosh, there's someone crawling up through the whale's tonsil. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Some sort of insane face right here, if you look at it the right way. It's like a crab coming out of someone's mouth. Okay, heading into the caves, it says under 16 requires 18 plus, so I am, I am plenty old to head into the caves by myself. Little city museum possum there. See the crazy formations here, almost looks like a crocodile mouth. Not a bit. See the faces there. I'm gonna pop on the flashlight so we can spelunk a little better. <laughs> this is cheating, isn't it? Is this against the rules? Am I allowed? Am I allowed? Not supposed to have this flashlight? Yeah, check this out. Looks like the old dinosaurs here, and then a creepy face and mouth right there. All right, let's head into the creepy mouth. That's the rules here on this channel. Whenever there's a creepy mouth, you gotta walk into it. I'm gonna head up these stairs here. Look up here. It's that organ right there. As it rises, see the very top of the building, there's a slide that winds down through the whole building here. Okay, I think these are steps up to the giant slide. I just wanna show, let's see all the way to the bottom of the building there. As we get higher and higher, momentarily we'll be headed down all uh, 10 stories of the building in a slide. All right, here we go. Hopefully we get some... Oh my gosh. Oh, I got a little momentum going there. <laughs> all the way to the bottom of the city. Okay, I'm not really sliding. I'm kind of crab scuttling at this point. There we go. Oh, 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 o
Yay! We made it to the bottom. It's a great night here at the City Museum. I am battered, I am bruised, I am sore. My knees are killing me. I feel like I have become an elderly man trying to traverse the intricate workings of the steel and metal and concrete that comprise the City Museum. An amazing couple days here in the St. Louis area. The Celebrating Trans World, the Haunted House uh, trade show. Um, I want to thank everyone that came up to me at the trade show, that shook my hand, that told me that they liked my videos, that people that asked me to come up to their haunts. Um, I just thank you everyone. It just overwhelms me that people care enough about my videos to, to do such things. So it means a lot to me. It means a lot that my videos actually um, affect people in some way, that, and in a happy way. People, I mean, it makes me feel great when someone come up, comes up to me and they say, I've seen your videos and you can see the smile on their face. That makes this all worth it. And it does get me thinking though about uh, haunt season coming up in October, I mean September. Haunt season starts in September. Um, I've gotten invited to a few haunts uh, over this Trans World weekend, um, but it's never too early to contact me. If you have a haunt that you would like me to visit uh, for haunt season, I can't make any promises, but I love uh, to, 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 to hear ideas, I love invitations. Uh, mainly what I, you know, what I just ask, if you do contact me regarding a haunt, just uh, make sure that it is a haunt that would be friendly to allow me film. Um, you know, if you own a haunt, or if you manage a haunt or something like that, um, reach out now so that I can try to make you part of my uh, Halloween plans. Again, it needs to map everything out. I can't necessarily promise that I will be able to hit every haunt, but I am definitely looking for suggestions, looking for ideas for haunts out there that will allow me to film this October. So, thank you. Tomorrow, we are getting back on Route 66, and we're gonna take Route 66 all the way to Santa Monica, California. And I hope you guys will be sticking along with me for that adventure. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe so you get a notification every day that uh, when a new video comes out so you can watch it. And uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also, selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. All that information is in the description and all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible high above the city of St. Louis. Until tomorrow morning, my friends, this one's in the bag. <laughs>